Okay, I watched some of it because I was homesick today. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Allison was sick today, so she watched a little bit of Sister Wives. And what? by a little bit, you mean all of it. <laughs> no, okay. I didn't. Let's get into it. I'm a super fan. We're not really celebrating Easter. We're actually celebrating Resurrection Sunday on Easter Sunday. <laughs> Must be a blast at, the, at Robin's house. I'm putting a little bit of money and candy in each of the eggs. This scene in particular is hard for me. Why? Because she's putting candy with money. Yeah. And I feel like you got to separate it out. Oh, because money's dirty. Money is dirty and coming off of a GI bug... Like, this is worrisome for me. <laughs> There's coke and fentanyl on the candy, or on, all over the candy now. Oh, oh, I thought it was just like dirty from people's butts. That's probably, it's probably all of it. <laughs> In all reality, when a new wife comes into a family, there will be changes because that new wife is now part of the family. When a new wife comes into the family, there will be changes because there's a, a new wife in the family. Hmm. Hmm. I hadn't thought about it that way. It is the money, let's be honest with you. The reason why they're all down with this is because there's money in the eggs. I feel like they're nicer than my family. Like when I was growing up and there was money in the eggs, we were tackling each other for them. Yeah. Were you tackling each other? <laughs> well, I didn't get any money in eggs. We had a proletariat Easter at my house. This year for Easter, like I, it was just a regular Sunday for me. I just stayed home and Cody and Robin didn't invite me over for anything. I wasn't gonna invite myself over. Feels mean. Like she's in town by herself and you're having a celebration and you want a, like you want her to stay, Robin, like you say, but you didn't, you didn't invite her over. Actions speak louder than words. Recent years, there's been a lot of, dare I say, drama. Why do you think everyone hates Mary so much? Like no one even cares about her. Not Christine, not Janelle, not Robin, not, like, what does she do? I wonder if her, I wonder if she's kind of like a house cat. Like, she's there, but she doesn't make enough, she doesn't take out enough space so that people, people just start to ignore her and it's okay. No, I you feel know? like, I feel like she's pissed them off. Like, like, Janelle has always not liked Mary, but Christine and her used to be very close, so I'm just so curious um how it all went down you mean what you mean why does christine and janelle not like her why does everybody not or why does robin no, no you know? one likes her cody robin, doesn't like robin her. does robin robin uses her i don't i would say not liking her is not yeah i agree okay go ahead our contractor oh hi contractor are you for real you can do your <laughs> okay or is mary the fun one is that possible? That Mary's got the dirty sense of humor, she's actually the most fun, and Cody couldn't be more boring. Robin, not a comedian. The opposite. Christine is, I think, sensitive, but not like not funny like that. And then Janelle is like pretty linear. You know what yeah. I mean? Like is she the I wonder if she's the goofball of the group. But why would you not like the goofball? They well, add she's some a little levity. Bit, she's a little bit racy, right? If Mary just sticks around long enough and we get through what's going on with Christine and even Janelle, and he can get through all of his anger and his emotions. I'm just laughing at, at Robin being like, I think they got a chance. If, if Cody can just get through the marriage with Christine, if he can repair the relationship with Janelle, if he can figure out how to navigate the issues with the kids, and if he can somehow fall back in love with Mary, I think it's gonna work out. And it's like this like massive mountain of things, none of which are gonna happen. Yeah. Her husband is awesome with me. He's very supportive of our relationship. Um, and he does things for me like washes my car. You were complaining about me not washing your car? You don't wash my car, ever, not once. Not once. <laughs> I've been with you twenty, like close to twenty years. Not you never washed my car. Incorrect. You've washed my car. Yeah, in your whole house. Stinky. Don't go weird. He and I have a very platonic relationship. <laughs> she protests too much. I can't tell which one she's more into, the husband or the wife. I know, right? Here, 
You know, like he just went through one divorce. Is he concerned about another one? Yeah, I don't have an, I'm like, there's, this is like the same thing. It's like a, they're just, TLC is rehab. They're just, this is all, I don't like when TLC does this old tape thing. Mm-hmm. There's, nothing, there's no new information here, right? Robin is saying, fix that relationship with Marianne, fix that relationship with your kids, and fix that relationship with Janelle. And I'm like, when I'm around them, there's no flicker, there's no flame. There's no, there's no flame with Mary. No one thought there was a flame with Mary or with Janelle, whatever. But to say, he just said, Robin told me to go build or, or fix the relationship with my kids. And then he said, but there's no flame, there's no flicker there. So because it's not fun to hang out with his kids, he's like, forget it, I'm not interested. Dad of the year. I struggle with the, I'm a man of God, and family is number one view of himself. And then the next thing out of his mouth is, you know, last episode it was right back at you, I don't like you either. Mm -hmm. And this one is, I have no flicker for you, towards your kids. Because I'm married to the love of my life. I've got these other situations at different levels of, of discord. I'm married to the love of my life. The other ones, this, I mean, this is, I feel like the essence of why the other, everything else is failing. He is prioritizing the love of his life. The other ones, I guess, were not loves of his life. Like before it was love, it should be multiplied, not divided. Direct quote. I, I, I struggle less with, you're right. So he doesn't deserve to have healthy relationships with them. If you don't put any energy there, you're not going to. Uh, it is wildly offensive, I can imagine, for them to hear him say that they're just situations. But what he's saying, when he describes situations and discord, he's talking not only about his wives, but about his kids. They're not situations. Right? Imagine calling your kid a situation. I got this situation in Discord over here that's really getting in the way of me being with my wife that I'm in love with. Yeah. Is that better if I say it that way? Yeah. I said it, I, I said it in more of an offensive way. Janelle and I, I do believe we could reconcile. It would require to Christine and Janelle to sort of like, uh, it was, it's been nice. He doesn't like that they hang out. Mm -mm. <laughs> He does not like it at all. He's like, it's going to require, he doesn't want to say it, but it's going to yeah. require them to. We could reconcile, but like, I want <laughs> that brought out of here. <laughs> now, can you imagine if you're Janelle leaving a positive relationship with Christine to be back with a guy who views you as a situation? Why would we stay here from Five Stuff for Christmas? That would be so boring. I think Garrison hurts. Garrison hurts. Um, he used to have a great relationship with Cody. And Gabe had a great relationship with Cody. I think that is devastating for those two boys. I do. And this guy is such an a-hole. He, he, he cannot get over his own ego. I'm bothered by his ring right now. I was talking about I could have my house as common ground and everyone could come and have peace there, but I don't think that's going to happen. I have a house. They could come to my house. I got real loyalty here at my home. You guys can come over here. I mean, how stupid is that of him? That's just so stupid and selfish. He just sucks. That's like I just when is can't. He, when is he gonna see what he's doing to his family? Why? Why is it that we all see but he can't see it? That is that is the diagnostically. I think that that is that is to me that is clinically significant. This idea of he cannot get over his, he cannot look outside of his own experience. And for him, it would make him less comfortable to go somewhere else. So why would I do it? And he can't see the big picture. He can't see the impact on his kids. He, can't, he doesn't care. It's just, that would make me less comfortable. I want to be comfortable at my house. So the whole world is going to be, just, I'm going to destroy the people around me because that would make me uncomfortable. Yeah, no, no ability to reflect. Zero. It, 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 on his uh, accountability in this situation. If, yeah, and if you asked him, are you being mean, he would say no. If you asked him, are you being selfish, he would say no. If you asked him, are you hurting your kids, he would say, well, they've hurt me too. That would be the, that's, that's the frame through which he's viewing the world. And like if you're a true narcissist, like it sounds like he is, there's no help for him really, right? 
I mean, I can't diagnose mm-hmm. someone from abroad or from I can't diagnose them, I can't diagnose someone from afar. Um, but if you have that diagnosis, it takes a lot of work, a lot of work, and there is no uh, like treatment protocol. It's a seven year essentially, it's a seven year journey for personality disorder treatment. Jeez. And that guy is not motivated for it, and the th- shrinks he's been going to are not equipped to deal with it. Mm-hmm. If that's what he's, I'm not saying that's his diagnosis, I'm just saying he, what they show us, he appears to click off some of the diagnostic yeah. criteria. He may click it off. I think we should avoid that um, because, I mean, you can't make a diagnosis, but I do think we can diagnose him as sucking. Officially diagnosed. Mm-hmm. What an ass. I just think it's disgusting. You would leave one wife's home to go help the other kid, the other wife's kids get ready for school. It has to piss Janelle off. Yeah, I, that's, I mean, yeah, they had, the original, season one, they had Logan was getting all the kids ready. Mm-hmm. Cody wasn't, was he? Mm-mm. I was actually taking Ariella and Solomon to school because I liked it. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like he's being selfish because he's helping out, but he's helping out only when he wants to. Mm-hmm. Right? It's never because it's supposed to or because it's valuable to Robin. It's just he wants to do it right. Robin's just loyal, and Christine just wasn't. Loyal mean. I don't even know what he's saying right now. Yeah, you just do what he says. He has to hang the moon. She's going to bobatize him in the middle of the night. Her husband takes her out for her birthday and then drops her off at home and goes to his wife. And then he hasn't talked to her for two weeks. It is wild that she, I mean, it's just, I guess she, is, she doesn't, she doesn't care about him either. But why would you put up with that? It's wild to me that I keep getting this vibe from Christine that, oh, you deserve more. I'm like, yes, of course I do. And I'm taking it for myself. I'm doing more. But she's not, she's, I understand what she's saying, but she's not taking more. What she's saying is, I'm fine. And Christine's saying, you could be more than fine. Mm-hmm. Why are you living a life where you're fine? Yeah. She's in a, a little bit of a denial. I'm just like, well, you can't help but be what I am. You know, I have no problem flirting. Flirting is safe. And it's just having fun. <laughs> I feel like she was I, flirting with the camera. Uh, yeah, I know. Who's who she flirting with? It's like, just safe. <laughs> <laughs> And she keeps reassuring me this is not her moving on, but I keep thinking she should move on. So why does it, it, yeah, do her a favor and tell her that. Like, move on. I'm done with you. I mean, it really feels like he slipped into the role of monogamy, and I think maybe he did it a while ago. If I cared, it would bother me, but I don't care. But then why are you still in the marriage? I don't understand why she's like, I'm fine. I'm flummoxed by that. I don't understand that. It makes no sense. I'm fine. It doesn't, I don't get it. I don't understand why Janelle can't be in married with me. Because she was married to me when I was married to Mary, and she was married to me when I was married to Christine. Because you're not married to her. Is he stupid? I don't understand. No, he. I feel like he just throws smoke in the air constantly. That's what like he's he, running around. <laughs> look over there. Like, you're trying to say this, but that, I mean. He's not pining in any way for the family that he's lost, except for when his ego is involved and it makes him look bad. Next time on Sister Wives. Oh, but wait, it's not this one I'm pregnant. Are you serious? No, this is, this, this, they can't do season 19. Like, this is, there's not, there's not enough going on. They're dragging, right? You're, I feel like you're ready for a nap. How are you feeling? I thought it was boring. And I want them, Mary, like Mary and Janelle, like, please just leave. Like, this is really terrible that we have to continue watching you be, like, abused and by this man. And also, it's like death by a thousand cuts. Mm-hmm. Like, you just, like, he's just poking you constantly. Yeah. You suck. F you. F you. I don't care. I don't care. Like, why are you staying? Yeah. Anyway, till next time. Do you think that it was more boring for you because you already watched it without me? No. Rude. I think it was. Tea. <laughs>